after more than 15 years of field research, the Explain group decided to step up into the alien phenomenon. Since INX three-level classification of close encounters, the extent of the incidents and case studies grew to a degree of complexity which called for a new perspective in the interaction between humans and the visitors, shifting the prime focus of the investigation from the flying craft to the extraterrestrial or interterrestrial biological entities, EBE, IBE. Close Encounters X, or CEX, is the TXP's five-level classification of alien interference. CEX-1, or sighting of flying objects at great distance. CEX-2, or sighting of flying objects at medium or close range, which results in a modification of the environment. CEX-3, or sighting of EBE, IBE on the ground, with or without a craft. CEX-4, or human EBE, IBE interaction on all levels, from abductions to conflicts to cooperation. CEX-5, or human EBE, IBE product, from hybrids to clones to engineered living creatures, ELC. Leah, um, it's a, it, it feels strange for me to finally get to see each other after uh, one year we've been talking together on a uh, via audio and now for the first time I'm seeing you and mm -hmm. yes uh, you know I it's been a long journey we've been talking mm -hmm. for 10 to 12 months uh, mm -hmm. and I had a chance to to know you enough to understand that your story it's really remarkable and something that should have so much exposure at a global level. Uh, that's the main reason why I, my group, the Explain group, has invited you to to join this uh, video interview. And uh, well, how do you feel about that? <laughs> I think this is probably one of the most um, uh, hard to explain. <laughs> I think I think we've had because because we've known each other for so long. Can you believe it's only it's been a year already, and um, I finally get to actually see you in person, and we can actually, you know, we can really we can really open up more of a dialogue now, and and we have um, um, we can we can discuss more details about my you know it's one thing just talking about my experiences, but this is um, I feel like this is more like. That there's a lot of promise here and a lot of potential, and I'm so excited to be part of it. And um, yeah, it, without without your um, um, uh, bringing up the idea, this was yeah, this never would have happened. And I'm so grateful that uh, I'm so grateful this hell happened. I'm so grateful we started talking and when we first started texting, and then it, it, this this sprung up <laughs> a year later. So thank you so much for bringing me here. Sorry, I'm, I'm not going to start crying, I promise. <laughs> there's, uh, there's no need to, to thank us because it's, uh, like you said, well, during the these months that we've had together and we had a chance to develop some sort of connection between us, um, I also found out that uh, there was a sort of a transferring of uh, information, uh, emotion, and your story it's something that cannot be disregarded or just uh, um, labeled as a simple starseed story. Okay, yes, uh, here it is. I'm disclosing the core of our interview, but yes, it's not a mystery. Alia Capitelli, uh, an Australian, a very nice, kind, and beautiful girl. She is a starseed. Um, meaning that she found out through a very, I would say, long 
span of time that she doesn't belong entirely to Earth, but a part of her comes from the stars. And yes, there are cases. She's not alone on Earth. There are cases, but what makes her special, and we are going to find out in the next uh, interviews, what makes her special is her story, how she came to the realization of her true nature, and how along the way she was led to refuse it at some point, and then it came back to her so violently that she could no longer deny that. She had to accept and open up, and that's when she really started to blossom. Uh, this is what I grasped through our dialogues, through the hours that we spent together talking, middle of the night here, early morning over there. And that's where I found out that something more was exchanging, was not just words or concepts, it was something more. And we are going to try to, to convey this uh, in these interviews, the deep bonds that Leah was able to, to build with, with me as a representative of the Explan group. But I believe that she can do the same when she speaks out to an audience in Australia or when she tells a story to, to people who need to hear this because they can rely on her story. They can feel that sort of empathy that you only feel when you know that that story sounds real. That's what I, that's the message that Leah is going to tell us through the video. Leah. It's, it's still a hard and long journey. Um, there is no, there's no denying that. And um, for so many years, I've had trouble uh, accepting this reality. And I'm not going to lie, even to this day, there's still some form of resistance because how can you not have some form of resistance to this these, these esoteric and um, beyond experiences. Um, I mean, I'm still, I'm still living in a, in a, in a organic body. I still have a brain which is limited and I am trying my hardest every single day to look at things objectively, but also not deny when things do happen as simple coincidence or just some sort of thing that I want to create into a lovely fantasy. And I, it's, it's, this is my life. This is, this is my life. This is what I, these are the cards I have been given and these are the cards I have chosen. This is how I've chosen to make of myself, to, to do what I can to have these experiences and understand that I've come here for a reason, for a purpose. And as some of my friends tell me, I am unfortunately burdened by purpose, cursed by it. <laughs> and um, yes, that's, that's, um, that's me at this point in time and this is what uh, Leah is going to uh, to show us her biggest challenge to expose herself to the world for the way she is her nature her limits her weaknesses her dramas and her happiness throughout her life a life torn by two different nature an earthly nature and a star nature. And we are going to find out how deep she can go to let us know about the infinite potential that she bear within. Like she says, surrounded or caged by her physical limits.
but we're going to talk about this in the next episodes of this interview and then I hope you guys out there will join and enjoy and find Leah's words meaningful for your everyday life. She has a lot to to tell us and we have a lot to learn from her. By the way, the x group has classified Leah Capitelli as a CX-5 uh, in our new classification, CEX-5 if, um, as a star seed, but we are going to explain this later on to stay tuned uh, more to come and it will be a, another wonderful journey between Leah Capitelli and the Explain group thank you Leah thank you